Hey, what's up everybody? The Balloon Guy here. Welcome to my channel and today we are going to make a Chihuahua. Stick along and follow along as I try something I have never done before. Hi everybody, Balloon Guy here. I'm also known as Zumalata. I am an entertainer here in Wisconsin and we're going to make a Chihuahua. Like I said, I have never made this before. You have come to my practice channel and so that means this could be messed up totally by the end of this and instead of looking like a chihuahua it might look like a car i don't know but we're gonna do our best um i watched the training video so i'm gonna go everything i can in my head to remember this the best i can and also try to remember to put a link down below to that training video and I'll give credit where credit is due for the gentleman who has the mad chihuahua skills um so and to start, I've got to actually have uh, three different colors. So we're going to work with um, um, black for the nose. We have a mocha brown, and I'm going to use two different sizes for that. And then we have white for the eyes. And um, we had, uh, in fact, a Chihuahua was kind of special in our family. Uh, we had a part Chihuahua, part pug. Uh, he was chocolate brown. Actually, it was a lot darker brown than this <coughs> we missed the fella we called him pudding because he was dark chocolate like pudding and uh, so let's get going we have our black and we're going to use it just for the nose so we don't need a lot we don't need a lot of air just a good puff of air and even that's a lot let's get rid of some of this and then we're going to just take push it down I just keep making it. We're going to make it go to the end. Uh, that way it's a nice round nose. We'll get there eventually. Not a problem. Um, usually use this time to uh, talk with the kiddos as I'm finding out how they're doing, who they are, and and their parents. And, and there we go. So I've got a little air there. That's perfect. Perfect. So I am going to um, take, we're going to tie that off right there. So we have a nice little black nose and um, I'm going to cut it about right there. We will save this black piece, put that with our scrap pile. Balloons are expensive nowadays, and it's hard to come by. So we have our uh, our black nose here. We also have the 160 mocha brown. I'm going to blow that up. This we're going to use for the ears. And then we have our standard mocha brown in the 260 right here we're gonna actually have a couple of those around to uh to make our balloon and like i said this is something i've never done before i'm gonna give it a shot i'm gonna do a few balloon uh twists on here so i'm gonna leave a lot there to uh give me room let out a little air this first thing we're gonna do is called a marriage twist and what we're going to do is we're going to take this nose and marry it to this balloon and we do that by pressing this in here inside the end and it's kind of like when i do the tulip twist you've seen that before on some of my others when i do a flower same concept with this one I'm going to go in a little bit far, and I'm going to go in, I'm going to grab that knot, and then carefully take my finger out. Let's see, I don't like the way that is, that's going to be too tight. Um, in fact, if you look at that, just a note, it looks kind of like a J, or a hook. That you could use in other things, but we don't want it that bad, so I'm going to let that go. Let's try this again. We're not going to go that far. I'm going to do something like 
this. There we go. I'm going to twist it. Let's see, is that right? I don't know. I want the longer nose than that. Let's try. Let's try this again. Let's go further down to about right here. There we go. I'm going to twist it, but what's the problem here is that I don't like that at all. So I think maybe this balloon is too soft. So let's check our, let's try it out. Let's see. We're going to take that, throw that away. This is all practice. Something new for me. And this time, I'm going to keep, I'm not going to burp it so much. So it's a little bit more in there. We're going to take, put that in there again, and maybe since it won't be as soft, I can, uh, there we go. I don't know, that nose, I just really want to go Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that didn't quite work the way we planned. Let's try again now that I've got a fresh balloon. And we've got our nose back. I'm gonna reach in further back, grab that knot. There we go. That'll work just fine. We're gonna stick with that for now. I'm gonna put that in there. So now we have our nose like that. All right. Look at that cute little nose. Soften that up just a little bit. And we're going to, uh, let's see, before I move on with this, let's get our ears ready now. And we're gonna um, make um, about six fingers wide. Give it a twist, just like our tulip twist. We bring the knot out and we put it in there to hold. Then we're gonna try to to match that, and I actually think <laughs> I did not plan that at all. But uh, we've got we got a match right right away. I did not whew, did not plan that on doing that at all, but uh, I did. So since I have that, let's tie this off into a nice knot. I'm gonna do it one more time. Security. That is unusual that it was exactly the size I wanted. So here we have our ears. And we're going to make, now we're going to make, continue on the, uh, the muzzle and the face of, of the puppy. Do that. And then we're going to do one pinch twist here. That's going to help us add stuff as we need it. We're going to take and we're going to put this on here. I want the bottom part of his head to be the same as the top. I'm going to squeeze that there. Let's know where to twist. And then we're going to walk our way around just a little bit. All right. Now we have a top and a bottom, and we have our excess. And so to do this, we're now going to, we need to do uh, two. We're going to have two of these bubbles from the 260 on top and three on the bottom. I don't know if I'm going to have enough balloons, so we might have to make more. And that's okay. We're going to go to the top here and <clears throat> our goal is to make the same size. There we go. Wrap that around. Got the nose here. Look at how cute. Look at how cute. Look at that. 
even that alone, if we finish just with that, we're gonna do more, but uh, wow. Um, and then we're gonna do one on the side here. You know what, I don't wanna put that there. I am going to end this, leave that right there. We're gonna get rid of that at the end there. This is what I'm doing, this is what I'm thinking. If I do one more bubble underneath here that I need, because I, I need two more on the bottom, there needs to be three on here to make a nice dog jaw bone. Um, I'm gonna have to tie it off here behind the nose and I think that's gonna make it do funny things and I don't want it to do that. I would rather have the knot for this excess back here. So we're gonna leave that there, we'll cut that off later and we'll get another Mocha Brown 260. And I'm gonna bring this in through the middle and then come out and wrap it around and into the other. All right, so now I'm gonna come here and we're gonna wrap, this is now on the bottom of the, the dog's head. And we're gonna make it the same size. We're gonna wrap it around once. And then we're gonna come on this other side and do the same thing. Soften it up a little bit. And we wanna get it so that's the same same size and then we're going to wrap around this pinch twist like so so now we have this so now we're going to organize it we're going to pull the ears back a little bit and these are chihuahua ears <laughs> oh my i'm having too much fun here this is cool I'm making a chihuahua. All right, so this is the leftover. This is the first leftover. I don't need this anymore. Let's break that off. Woohoo! We'll tie that off so that we don't lose any air. All right. And I'm just gonna tuck that inside so that it's hidden. There we go. So now we have our doggy. We have our doggy, the ears coming up here from back here, the head. All right, so we're gonna do a neck here. And then one bubble, two bubbles, twist. And then we're gonna turn these into pinch twists. And I've been doing that by splitting it up. And as I turn it now, I am also turning the excess bubble so that it uh, cuts down the less fr friction. Now we have, we have our head here. It's not quite finished yet. We still need a couple things, but uh, we're getting much closer. We're gonna make the body. So we have a body here, pinch twist, and then uh, what's left here will be the tail. If we use that, we might use the other one instead. So here we go. Not bad, huh? I kinda like this. Kinda like this. Usually I, I, I don't make of this extensive of a dog, um, so I find this quite exhilarating actually. That, oh, there we go. Wow. All right. Now on to the legs. Let me pause for identification, hold on. All right, and this is my batch of Mocha's um, 160s. And so let's do another one. I'm going to use this for the legs. Because they have tiny little legs. Now, this is a much smaller nozzle. And you could use the regular green one. Or you can use this really nifty one. That helps keep it from being stretched. 
we'll just blow that up. Leave some access for our legs. For our, uh, because as we make the legs, it's gonna push, push, push. And there we go. All right, so we're gonna make the legs here. So we're gonna, go, we're gonna go. This could be like triangles the way it is. So one, two, move over three, four, and that's it. So we're gonna start at the back side. We're gonna wrap this nozzle around the back, pinch, twist, and then here is where. We'll do this. And then you just want to um, kind of keep them the same. You want to keep your, uh, wrap that around. I'm also going to go in through here. So it kind of uh, weaves it a little bit and holds it in there tight. And there's one set of legs. And then we're going to duplicate that. Come back here for the other set. And that's gonna wrap around here. Again, I am going to wrap that through there. And if I remember my, my doggy right, he had a little tail. So I'm gonna use the smaller balloon for that. So this one, we're gonna get rid of now that, now that we have our parts all set. We'll tie that off. And actually, that's access now, so I'm going to cut that off. And then this one, we don't need that much. We're going to put a tail probably like this. Let me soften a little bit, though, so that there's not too much pressure in the tail. There we go. So we twist that. That's the part we want to keep. And this is the part we're going to end up cutting off. So I'm just going to take it, break it off, let that go. Tie it, and then we take this excess and cut it off. Wow, I cannot believe how this is looking. Look at that. Wow, that is just amazing. All right, now one other thing, and that's eyes. And for that, I'm just going to cheat. Um, the gentleman who taught this used uh, white 260 and he put them in there and he, and he painted. I'm going to cheat and use these that I already have. I'm just going to give it a puff. That is all. Like that. And then duplicate it on the other side. There we go. Tie it off. And then I'm going to tie these together. And hopefully this will work. Like I said, I've never done this before. And uh, I just want to make sure it looks good. So we're going to bring this, we're going to put one eye through here for it to go on the other side. And the other eye is going to go in here. And I shouldn't see the gnats. So, oh my goodness. Where do you see this? And there we have, <laughs> we have our little Chihuahua puppy. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is just crazy. Wow. I don't know, I don't know how this is. You tell me, what do you think? Wow, look at that. I gotta tell you, in doing this 365 days a year, uh, this list, um, I really feel like my skills are improving. I, I've never thought I would be able to do something like this. 
Um, can it be improved on? I'm sure it can be. I'm sure there's uh, better balloon twisters out there, but uh, just getting the hang of this. Look at that. I really, really like that. Um, his eyes could probably be put a little more forward. Oop, lost an eyeball. Come back here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just let it go to the side like that. Maybe one like that. Oh, that's that's a little scary. Here. We're just gonna do this. There we go. All right. Well, that's it. That's all we have the time for. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. It has been a long one. Because this has been a, a more difficult um, a creation to make. Um, and I thank you so much for your time. Uh, please, uh, if you'd like to see more, hit the bell um, so that you get notifications. Hit the subscribe button. And if you could give me a thumbs up, maybe comment below, I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. You have a good day. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Wow. <laughs>